Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Pouse. I got my super midi shirt on. The bracket in the back. Feeling good about today. And I have a very good story for you by Arnold Lobel. And it's Days with Frog and Toad. Uh, to let you know, I actually have a pet frog. It's a tree frog. He jumps very high. And then two pet toads. One's um, nine years old. It's a big one. Uh, we call him Freddy. And the other one, my son named Species, is a littler guy. Um, so I think frogs and toads are pretty cool. They're amphibians, which means they live part of their life on land and part of their life in, in the water. Okay. And um, frog and toad stories I absolutely love uh, because it talks about their best friendship. And, you know, there's many things to learn out there, but one of the best parts is, is having a best friend and being able to share relationships with them. So we have Days with Frog and Toad by Arnold Lobel. And just a wonderful story. Chapter one, Alone. Toad went to Frog's house. He found the note on the door. The note said, Dear Toad, I am not at home. I run out. I want to be alone. Alone? said Toad. Frog has me for a friend. Why does he want to be alone? Dear Toad, I am not at home. I went out. I want to be alone, Frog. That's one of those things sometimes if we read a, a letter or an email from like a friend, when we read it in our minds, we kind of hear them speaking, right? It's pretty cool. Toad looked through the windows. He looked in the garden. He did not see Frog. Toad went to the woods. Frog was not there. He went to the meadow. Frog was not there. Toad went down to the river. There was Frog. He was sitting on an island by himself. Poor Frog, said Toad. He must be very sad. I will cheer him up. Toad ran home. Mm. What do you think you can do, boys and girls, to cheer up a friend? I agree. All right. Okay. He made sandwiches. He made a pitcher of iced tea. He put everything in a basket. Toad hurried back to the river. Frog! He shouted. It's me! It's your best friend, Toad! Frog was too far away to hear. Toad took off his jacket and waved it like a flag. Frog was too far away to see. Toad shouted and waved, but it was no use. Frog sat on the island. He did not see or hear Toad. A turtle swam by. Toad climbed on the turtle's back. Turtle? Said Toad. Carry me to the island. Frog is there. He wants to be alone. Frog wants to be alone, said the turtle. Why don't you leave him alone? Maybe you are right. Said Toad. Maybe Frog does not want to see me. Maybe he does not want me to be his friend anymore. Yes, maybe, said the turtle, as he swam to the island.
cried Toad. I'm sorry for all the dumb things I do. I'm sorry for all the silly things I say. Please be my friend again. Toad slipped off the turtle. With a splash, he fell in the river. Frog pulled Toad up onto the island. Toad looked in the basket. The sandwiches were wet. The pitcher of iced tea was empty. Our lunch is spoiled, said Toad. I made it for you, Frog, so that you would be happy. But Toad, said Frog, I am happy. I am very happy. This morning, when I woke up, I felt good because the sun was shining. I felt good because I was a frog. And I felt good because I have you for a friend. I wanted to be alone. I want to think about how fine everything is. Oh, said Toad. I guess that's a very good reason for wanting to be alone. Now, said Frog. I will be glad not to be alone. Let's eat lunch. Frog and Toad stayed on the island all afternoon. They ate wet sandwiches without iced tea. They were two close friends sitting alone together. There he is, Arn Bell. Hope you enjoyed Frog and Toad, boys and girls. Not only get to see some great amphibians, um, we got to learn about friendship and how important that is. And also about some misunderstandings sometimes. You know, it looks like maybe our friend is sad, but yet. Alone time's okay sometimes. We all need that. All right, boys and girls, I will see you soon.